in this video, I'm going to go over the basic features of my 2016 Old Town Predator XL Minn Kota Kayak. And as I go through the basic features, I will show some of the modifications I've made. And then, after I've gone through the whole boat, I'll go back and explain each modification. As you can see, it's got the standard rudder. And as you go up to the left of the battery, on the left rear mount, I have a slot mount, and I mounted my retractable anchor line there. And I'll go into that in detail a little bit later. And then I have my Yak Attack lever lock anchor trolley there. Now as I get up to the seat, I'm going to lift it up, and you'll see I have a bungee net attached underneath it to store items like tackle boxes and such. And I'll go over that in detail as well. And then I also set up the motor pod to accept a fish finder. As you can see up here, I've got the one inch ball set up. And then I also had to make a shelf down inside the pod in order to hold a bigger battery because I wanted to run an 18 amp hour battery. And I made a separate video for that. And then the final things is these mounting plates that I customize for things that I need. This is my retractable anchor line. It's made from a retractable clothesline that I opened up and removed all the line from. I then replaced that with 550 paracord, which you can see sticking out, and also added a rubber plug on it to make sure that it did not retract all the way to the inside of the unit. I also modified the bracket to accept a 1 quarter times 20 T-slot bolt, which I then attached to the mounting bracket and T-slot attachment on the rear of the kayak. Now I've shown in another video how you can make your own T-bolt for this kind of use and then of course it attaches to my anchor trolley on this side of the kayak. This is an overall view of the bungee storage net. You can see that it spans the entire width of the floor of the kayak and it's attached on both sides using the stock three lower bolts on the kayak that are used to hold in the side pouches. Now, once you remove those three screws, you're going to use these rubber insulated clamps that I got at Harbor Freight to hold the bungee in place. And here's what one of those looks like. And what you're going to do is slide the bungee into that gap there, pinch it shut, run your screw through that hole, and then attach the screw back into its mounting hole on the kayak. And you do that for each side, and what you end up with is a nice flexible net to hold tackle boxes or any other equipment you might want to use. You can see I've mounted a one inch ram ball along with a one inch ram double socket to attach my fish finder. And as I pull off the top section here, there's normally just a small hole for you to run your cables through. I had to open it up using about an inch and a quarter hole saw so I could slide the connector of the transducer through that hole in order for me to be able to make everything wire up. So as I open up the main section here, you can see what I've shown in a previous video, my little battery shelf there and here's an inside look of all the wiring and where the little shelf is where you're supposed to put a battery that's where I coiled up all my extra transducer wire and after I coiled that up I had to run the transducer wire again through the hole in order to get everything to hook up and that's why you'll see three wires it's actually the transducer cable going through, coming back through, and the power cord. And that's how I got everything to fit. This is an overhead view of one of the two front mounting plate setups that I have. Towards the rear of it, I have a Railblaza rectangular star port, which I wanted to use because it matches the contour of the mounting plate. In front of that, I have a stainless steel pad eye, which I use to attach tethers for my equipment so I don't lose them. And as I go back, to the two rear mounting plates which are set up the same. Again I have the rail blazer and the pad eye mount. 
but I also added a mini zigzag which is used on one side to tie off a stringer and on the other side it's used to tie off the anchor line. Okay, so that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.